The sharing economy is becoming increasingly popular internationally and services like car sharing have been available in a number of developed countries for many years. Locally, car sharing business Locomute was established in 2014 and now offers services in Cape Town, Johannesburg, Ekurleni, Pretoria and Durban. But in studio to tell us more about Locomute is the executive chairman, Sbusi So Kaba. Spisiza, thank you so much for joining us uh, this afternoon. Maybe to start from the beginning, how did you see this gap in the market and how did you come up with this idea? Well, uh, thank you for having me. The, the document started, in fact, as an assignment for an MBA class. Ah. Two of my partners, Dumi and Dando, did this uh, project. And then afterwards, we thought, why don't we actually establish this business? Because we saw the gap in the market and the gap was to provide mobility, which is cost effective, but without compromising the convenience that comes with an owned car. Mm. I mean, people owning their own private cars, at the same time reducing, uh, reducing congestion in our road. Mm. So is this house is different from a uh, you know, traditional rental service? Well, it's different in the sense that our cars live on the streets. You find a car that is closest to you using an app. Our app you download an app onto your phone and you find the car that is closest to you. You go to it, you open it with the app, you use it for whatever time you need it and then you drop it off. You are not stuck with the car for more time than you need it. You, you need it. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe let's talk about how you register. You mentioned uh, something about an app. Yeah. How does one register and, and what are the rates like? <laughs> well, you register on our website, which is www.lowcommute.co.za. Uh, there is a join button there. If you click on that, it will take you to a very brief form just fill in your details and then you, you provide us with your banking details and you're ready to go. You download the app onto your phone and you, you can use our cars wherever you are. Our rates are, are quite uh, competitive. Okay, so if you, if you look at the likes of Uber and just your normal meter taxis, this would... Well, we are, we, we are very competitively priced. Uh, we charge 180 per minute in the car and the first 20 kilometers are free. So if you are traveling a 30, a 30 kilometer distance and you can do that in 20 minutes, you only pay for the 20 minutes that you spend in the car and you don't pay for kilometers. Okay, and is this still profitable? <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, we, we are getting into profit, to profitability now. Yeah. Uh, and as we expand throughout the country, we, we, we are hitting the right buttons, yeah. Talking about expansion, you are heading over to Silicon Valley. Uh, you're hoping to attract the attention of some venture capitalists. Absolutely. What exactly are you going to be telling them? Well, we are going to be telling them about the market potential in South Africa. We think that uh, South Africa is ready for an idea like this. We've seen it in the cities where we are. Uh, it's been growing nicely and we would like to expand and have a national footprint. In fact, next week we are opening up Port Elizabeth, Nelson Mandela Bay. Uh, so that's what that's the story that we're going to be telling and the success that we have uh, achieved over the last nine months. Mm. Any uh, lessons that you've learned uh, whenever we've got an entrepreneur or somebody that's come here with a great idea, we always want to know about the, the hard lessons that they've learned that they can share with us. So if somebody's embarking on a, a similar journey, then they know that this is, this is part of what you go through to, to make it. Well, we've got plenty of lessons. <laughs> Probably the biggest lesson that we have, we've learned is that there is no marketing like a happy client. When clients are happy, they come back. We, we are aiming to, to expand our business, 50% new clients and 50% re, I mean, repeat business from our existing clients. Mm. And we are seeing that is actually is growing quite nicely. The other lesson that we've learned is that there's nothing like determination. Yeah. Uh, the road of entrepreneurship is never smooth, uh, but be determined to innovate as you go, be determined to, 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 to overcome the obstacles that you meet. And if you are determined enough and if you stay the course without losing what you really are, you will succeed. Mm. Just on a final one, what's been the, the hardest thing? You're telling me about you know, characteristics that you, that you need to have yeah. and, and making sure that your client uh, is happy because they're giving you, you know, a good review. Yeah. But in terms of you know, operationally operating here in, in South Africa, uh, what have been some of the, the tangible things that you can share with us and say, you know what, maybe the legislation wasn't favorable, whatever the case may have been? Well, there, there, there are some good lessons. I mean, uh, when we started this business, people said, it's not safe, you can't leave cars in the streets. 
Yeah. Uh, we have been doing it for the past nine months. We have never had a single car stolen. In fact, we haven't even had an attempt at stealing our cars. Uh, they stay in the street all the time and it is safe. Now, the lesson from there is that if you treat people as decent human beings, yes. they are likely to behave as such. Uh, we have also learned that uh, you, you've got to be quite aggressive in, in, in marketing your business and knocking at doors. We have learned to be partners with other existing larger business than ourselves uh, in the insurance industry, in the banking industry. Uh, we, we, we've, we've struck some good partnerships that have helped us to grow. Mm. So thank you so much for coming in and uh, congratulations on this. When you come back from Silicon Valley, please do keep us updated so we'll we know. Definitely how you do so. thank <laughs> you. A very big thank you to Spusi Soitlava. He's the executive chairman of Low Commute. Do stay with us when we come back. We delve into those oil movements that we have seen. Of course, so what are the implications for both the local and global economy? Stay with us.